Well, Peter says there are dozens or so boys in the school, Sam. But Matron thinks it's some sort of stomach bug. Nothing to worry about. Well, that's good. Well, if they're lucky, they might um, miss the worst of it. Yes, I hope so. Mm. Goodness, I'm a stash. I'm picking David up from the early train. Mrs. T, would you be allowed to turn off the tennis trainer? I'd like to go home for a couple of days, Mrs. Grant. There's nothing wrong, is there? Have you heard from your sister? Well, I, I tried to ring her this morning and there was no reply. So I tried again about an hour ago and there was a funny sort of signal. I got the operator. She said there's a big breakdown in the South London area. No calls going through at all. Well, that doesn't mean anything bad, necessarily, does it? They said on the radio today that all the exchanges were short-staffed. I know, but the phone was ringing this morning and she didn't answer. Doris never goes out in the morning. Yes, well, of course, you must go then, just to set your mind at rest. Thank you. Now, you get ready and I'll run you to the station. We'll be in time for the 20 past four. Hello? Hello? There should be the news on at four. Dr. Gordon's car. He's stopping. Hello, Joe. Abby. Look, are you and David uh, home tonight? Yes. May I come by about nine? I want to give you both a shot of the flu vaccine. Oh, that's marvellous. I've been meaning to ask you about that. Listen, why don't you bring Margaret? We'll have a drink. Oh, she's not feeling any too grand at the moment. Anyway, I won't be able to stop. I'm trying to get round the whole district before it gets too serious. Have you had many cases of it yet? I've got a couple of dozen who are showing symptoms. But I uh, think they're just trying to be fashionable. Anyway, I'll give you all the news tonight. All right. About nine, then. Bye, Joe. Bye-bye. Don't you worry, Mrs. Transom. I'm sure Doris will be fine. London train's in if you want it. You'll have to hurry. You'd better get your tickets to the other... The doctor to look at you. So it's still off. I'll go round to the surgery. If he's not there, I'll see if I can find Andrew at the hospital. Even if he can't come himself. He might be able to give me something for you. Don't, don't leave me, Jen. I won't be long, love. You try and get some sleep if you can. I won't be long. Here. Are you all right? Yes. I just dropped off. I've been here since about four. Why, what time is it now? About half past eight. I've had a hell of a time getting here, you know. There wasn't anything moving out of Paddington at all. I had to get a lift up to Slough, and then a train up to Twyford, and then a bus. You wouldn't believe her. I've been travelling for about six or seven hours. Oh, darling, you must be exhausted. I'm too angry to be exhausted. Radio said there were bad traffic jams. Bad? In the city they were bumper to bumper. Tailback must have been miles long. Well, I've never seen anything like it. It'll take them literally days to get things sorted out. Not that I saw anybody doing anything about it. 
Well, never mind. You're at home now, darling. <sighs> yes. Well, I'm going to stay here until they get things organised. I'm not going through another journey like I've been through today. Attention. Attention, please. There has been a major power failure on some of the London sections of the region. It is possible there will be very considerable delays on both up and down line traffic. Passengers are advised to find alternative forms of travel. Attention, please. <coughs> As far as I know, it's the same in all the other hospitals. I mean, our people are going down with it as fast as the patients. Uh, most of the GPs in the district have had to come into work in the wars. Well, how long does the attack last? I mean, flu is... Oh, it is not flu. Oh, yeah, we're giving people jabs. But, well, we might as well squirt water into all the good it's doing. You know, the uh, Home Secretary has ordered us to keep up the fiction. Huh? Try and stop a panic. Panic? I know there have been some deaths. I heard it on the radio, but not enough to cause a panic. Ah, it's been played down. I mean, we've had 70 deaths. 70? It, it could be double or treble that number by the morning. Yeah, we took in our first cases about six days ago. Uh, that seems to be the time it takes for infection. About six days. Oh, from what you say about Pat's symptoms, she must have had it that long. Well, can't you just come around and see her? There must be something you could give her. Well, I but you are, I'll, I'll try and grab half an hour later on, okay? First chance I get. I'll wait for you. Is there anything I can do to help here? Yeah, you bet there is. Look, we need all the help we can get. That I'm sure they'll declare a state of emergency or something. Call out the troops. Anyway, we're all right living in the country. Got a deep freeze full of food. Big open fires in case the central heating goes off. We'll manage. Oh, well, damn it. Do you think it's just us or the whole area? Jenny, you've got to get out of here. Not just the flat, I, I mean London. She's dead. Now, into the country if you can. Now, just take a few things. You might have to walk. I shouldn't have left her. She must have been so frightened all on her own. Now, you should get started as soon as you can and take any food that you've got in. Don't you feel anything? Two years? You've been having an affair with her for two years? She's dead! Now, you just listen to me! Now, uh, Jenny, listen to me. I've got the disease. Now, I, I've worked it out that I picked up the infection about three days ago. Now, that roughly gives me three more days. Oh. Harry's got it, Joe. She's bad. I've been looking for you everywhere. I went up to the house. There was no answer. Margaret died this afternoon. Oh, God. Oh, Joe. Oh, 
I'm sorry. But like the old Jewish joke about the chicken soup. It may not do any good, but it won't do any harm. They're dying, David. And there's nothing I can do to help. I thought we'd miss the worst of it down here. I had 17 tonight. Four of them. A whole family went within an hour of one another. God knows what it'll be like by morning. In another week... Go on. In another week... Maybe getting a bit fanciful. If it goes on this way, the weak could see us with millions dead. You will come and have a look at Abbey. Of course. I left the money. Well, I got a rabbit last night. Caught it with a snare. Are you going to stay here, out in the open? Uh, wait until the doctors have got it all cleared up. I say, it's a bit like wartime, isn't it? I suppose. Ah, uh, don't worry, the Yanks love something. A cure. I'll bet the Yanks love a cure. I heard something on the radio. Well, it must have been days ago now. But they said that there were a lot dying in America. Ah, uh, they love something, don't you worry. After this, there'll be plenty of work about. Good jobs. Big money. Good luck. You keep away from people, miss, till all this is cleared up. Keep away from them.
Shall I build up the fire? You've got the fever, haven't you? Let me try and make you more comfortable. Keep away. Keep away. Leave me alone. I'm too tired to go on. Can I stay? Getting light. Batteries all but gone. There's nobody sending. Ken. Things you never even needed to consider before. For instance, that. Could you make that? Where does the raw material come from? Do you know? Well, some sort of oil product, I suppose. Or before that, tallow or animal fat. But could you make it? Something as simple as a candle, starting from scratch. <laughs> well, I could probably find out. It must be in a book somewhere. All right, take it from there. A book will tell you how electricity is generated, but could you do it? Right from the very beginning. Find the metal in the earth, dig it up, refine it, turn it into wire. Could you make and cast glass for a light bulb? You'll need to know every part of every process. A carpenter, a man who works in wood, he doesn't chop down the trees, he doesn't forge the steel for his saw. Could he make a hammer? Nails? For myself, I could perhaps fashion some sort of stone tool. We really are that primitive. Incredible, isn't it? We're of the generation that landed a man on the moon, and the best we can do is talk about making tools out of stone. What you called a stockpile of things will merely give us a little breathing space, perhaps several generations. <laughs>